Welcome back to Twin Pine Auto Group. This is Wyatt, and today I'll be showing you how to work the navigation system on a Saab 93. Now, the first thing that we're going to do is start the car up. You see the nav will pop up here in just a second. The air's on a little too high there. All right, so right now it's reading the navigation disk. Now, the nice thing about this, it is disk based, so uh, there's no satellite interference or anything like that. So, if there's a thunderstorm, you're still going to have your directions right in front of you. Now, the cool thing about this is there's a few different options that we have. Like I said, if you know where you're going to go, um, you can go into this menu here, Destination. And you can see you have Address Entry, Point of Interest, your Address Book, which we don't have anything there right now, or Previous Destination, or you can look at a map. Now, what we're going to do today is we are going to go to Lunch. So we're going to look at Point of Interest. And you can either put in the name there, or you can browse by category. So we're going to browse by category. You can see that you have restaurants, shopping, automobile, hotels, other travel, community, and leisure. Today, we're looking for a restaurant, so we're going to click on that. Now, this is going to search all POIs or point of interest around us. Now, it's going to show you the uh, distance away right there. And I don't know what you guys are hungry for, but I'm thinking about... Whoops. thinking pizza let's get pizza go to Domino's so Domino's is two and a half miles away and you can see it there one of the really cool options here is you have your little icons over there so Domino's has its logo you'll have other things with logos subway on there uh, if it's an Italian restaurant you'll have the Italian flag very very cool option to have there kind of doesn't make you have to read everything um, but what we'll do is we'll click on Domino's Another cool thing on here, it's going to show you Domino's Pizza, the address, as well as the phone number. So if your phone is linked up to the Bluetooth system on this car, all you have to do is hit call, and it'll call that phone number. You can order your pizza, or in this case, we're going to drive there and we're going to go eat. So what we're going to do is we're going to hit the go button. And in just a second here, it's going to bring up our route. Now one of the cool options on here, you can see you can go the fastest route the shortest route or other. So fastest is going to take you the roads with the highest speed limits. Shortest it's going to take you the back roads and then other is just a completely different type of route. Um, today we're going to use the fastest route and you can see it's not too far away from us there. We're going to start the guidance. Please proceed to the highlighted route. Then the route guidance will start. Now that nice lady was our navigator. She's going to take us to where we want to go. So what we're going to do is we're going to drive out to the main road here and you can see the blue line, we're going to hop on that blue line and it's going to take us turn by turn right to our destination. Now, let's say we get there, we eat, we enjoy our food and we want to go back home. Um, all we have to do is go into destination again. Get rid of Domino's there. And back into destination, we'll go to address entry. And then in the city name, we're going to type in Ephrata. The cool thing about it when you're typing in the letters there, it eliminates letters that aren't available. So if there's no city in Pennsylvania that has an EP in the first two letters, it won't it won't give it to you. So in this case, it, there's two of them. There's Effort of Township and Effort of PA. We're going to go to Effort of PA. And for the street, we're going to do Main Street. So as you can see, it canceled out the letters there. Main comes up. And we're going to go to house number, we're going to do 1928. And we're going to hit go. And it's going to start our route guidance here in just a second. We're going to do the fastest route. Please proceed to the highlighted route. Then the route guidance will start. And then she's going to take us right back to the car dealership. So we're done with lunch and we're coming right back to the car dealership. As you can see, the navigation system is a very, very easy thing to operate. A lot of cool features on here. Um, a lot of other options too, different route, route preferences. You can turn off your navigator if you don't like her voice <laughs> or what have you. There's a really neat off-road mode in there as well. Um, that one, it, it brings up a compass on the side here. So when you have it in off-road mode, you'll have a compass just in case you're out in the middle of nowhere. So that's a very cool option to have. Um, you can also change your brightness and your contrast as well as well as a nighttime mode when it's night out. 
So that is the how-to video on the navigation system on a 2010 Saab 9.3. And you can see this and all of our other how-to videos on TwinPineAutoGroup.com. Thank you for watching.